Hi, today I'm going to be talking about Burning Grass, which is a novel written by Cyprian Ikwensi, and it is book two in the African Writer Series, published, this one was published in 1962. Today I'm going to talk about some of the themes in the book, and I'm going to talk about this along three main themes. The first one is the imagery of burning grass, the second one is the repetitive imagery of darkness, and the third is love. A burning grass that's the title of the book and it begins with an image of burning grass and it ends with burning grass um, the beginning of burning grass the first line is when they begin to burn the grass in northern Nigeria it is time for the herdsmen to be moving the cattle southwards to the banks of the great river so it's about herdsmen, Maisa Said, who is the father of um, three sons, and they are all cattle rearers, according to the book. They have the cattle, they were raised with the cattle in their blood. And burning the grass marks a particular time when they begin to move the cattle down southwards, looking for fresh grass, and then they turn after the grass is burnt and the new shoots come forward. Um, it's repeated several times. Another part of the book um, talks about um, looking for green grass. It's something says, you know, when they begin to burn the grass in this country, that is the time for all herdsmen move. They are looking for green grass. Um, again, later on in the book, they talk about how they burn the grass. We talk about why they burn the grass. Um, but then they talk about the consequences of things like that. So when they do burn the grass, you know, there's a quote here, which I do like. It says, when the forest burns, do the locusts stop to say goodbye? So there is, there are consequences to, to these actions. Um, but we do look through everything. Um, and the idea of burning grass symbolizes the death of old things and new things coming. The book is essentially about the journey, the wandering journey of the father who goes about looking um, for his son's love. So it uh, represents a closure of the old things. He's in search southwards as well, just as his cattle, he's in search for something new. And this book takes us on that journey through that. Um, another theme is darkness. There is repeatedly this fight against darkness and the dark magic and ironically they, they complain about dark magic from their enemies but their way of fighting against this magic, this darkness and this dark magic is they don't claim to have you know any kind of bright magic or they don't seem to repel it. The way they fight it is to have dark magic of their own. Um, page 61 of my version talks about um, Hojo, the son of Sonsai, when he's fighting, he says, my father makes darkness for his enemies. And he boasts about that. And the father also says later, uh, let's see, they were, I think I've got that on page 90. The father talks about, um, he says, are we not the makers of darkness? So there is this boast that they give the darkness, they make the darkness, and therefore the darkness has no power, has no power against them. Now, there is a lot of superstition, there is a lot of magic. Um, part of the allure of the, 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 the Fulani is this power that comes um, from their own natural strength and bravery and courage, and as well as the magic and the superstition because there is a place here, I think page 62 here, it says by magic and superstition, they live and die. Because the Fulani were well known in Northern Nigeria for their magic. By magic, they camp without offense and no lion dare seize a beast. By magic and superstition, they live and they die. So one theme of this darkness is the way of fighting unwanted darkness is actually having that darkness of your own, having that dark magic of your own as a way of, of fighting over, fighting against and prevailing against a greater magic. And the final big theme in the book, the book is essentially a love story. 
and it starts out as a love story between um, one of Sansei's sons and as it progresses it comes into the length the father goes um, for the love of his son so he takes sets out on this journey to find this woman who his son is in love with and it, it transforms from a story about romantic love and it evolves into a story of filial true filial affection there are lots of things i recommend this book lots of things to talk about lots of things to think about lots of things to read about um, it's very interesting written by Cyprian Quincy about a tribe that was not his own so that's quite unusual very often we find writers writing about their own experience about their own tribe about their own culture Cyprian Quincy was not Fulani um, but he has quite a, a good knowledge of of, um, of his characters and, and he, he, he does have several books that are set um, outside his own culture so it's quite an interesting take uh, let me know what you think of the book. If you've read it, let me know your favourite quotes. Let me know what ideas you have. And it's an important book in terms of today's politics in Nigeria. So let me know what relevance you think it might have for today. Um, it actually can be quite a controversial book if we cite it in today's politics. So let me know what you think. And thank you for joining subscribe like share if any of this is useful and i will see you for another book of the african writer series thank you